We're inside Jeff's $7,000 a month apartment. Let's, Let's check, check it out. out. Play no games. No way. Play no games. No Probably gonna get evicted for this video. All the damage I've done to this apartment. Oh gosh, here we go. This is the kitchen. Yeah, is this like an MTV Cribs thing? Do you want? Do you go yeah. into the fridge? Or? We do anything we want to do. I'd rather not show what's inside the fridge. Okay, well then let's look. Okay, that okay. okay. I'm on a mailing list with Prime. This is what I live off of right here. Yeah, Lacroix. Lacroix. We Lacroix. Like Got the bubbles. Get you feeling nice. This is my sunglass collection. I had a bad eye injury that made me very insecure. So I was staying in the house, hiding from people, and then one day I just said, F "You know what? I'm successful. I got money." I'm just gonna buy a bunch of sunglasses and go out and face my fears. And this one is even more special to me. This is signed by the best boxer of all time. Yeah, can, can you see who that is? No. Jake Paul. Do you box? Yeah, I had an eye injury a while ago, mm. so I, mm. I wasn't, wasn't able to box. What so. side of your face? This one. I couldn't tell. For real? It looks great, yeah. Thank you. You're a nice guy. But this is a nice kitchen, though. Do you cook? No, I live off of Postmates, Uber Eats. What's your Uber Eats, Postmates monthly bill? Probably upwards of $2,000. It's not that bad. Actually, actually, you only eat like once a day? Or? Should I say DoorDash because we're sponsored by them? My, do <laughs> my DoorDash bill is $2,000 a month. Like I said in the elevator, I wanted this to be natural, this video. There's nothing set up here. I always have a deodorant pyramid on my dining room table. Okay. I got this sh chandelier here because I wanted to be like a nice flex. I'm not really like a, a braggadocious type of guy. You know, I don't really like to flex, but yeah. I saw this and I was like, that'll make me feel good when I come home and I see this fucking like, it's like, it reminded me of like a Cuban link chain. Did you, did you actually buy that or did it come with the place? No, I bought that. I had to install it. Really? Mm -hmm. How much was it? $7,000 to pay for that. Things were probably going good at that time. What is this thing in the middle? This looks really nice. Like it's um, nature in a, in a bowl. Yeah, it's got some dirt in there, some rocks and some plants there. It used to have more, but they didn't make it. He also used to have a dog too. He was 16, he died of natural causes. Yeah. I want to have art that inspires me. I have Martin Scorsese over there, Robert De Niro and Taxi Driver. Beatles over there, they were so famous that they said we're bigger than Jesus. Is that what they, they said? got canceled for that. Kind of like That's what it. Logan Paul's dealing with right now. <laughs> you know? Look at that, how history repeats itself. As you can see, I don't come out here often. It's funny, when people get places, they get them for the view usually, but then like, you know, after you see it a bunch, it's like, who gives a fuck, you know? I already seen it. I'm not gonna go out there and just sit there. You're a Staten Island boy, right? Yeah. Vinny, I saw your fucking video on here. Did he say something about me? Yeah, he, he talked some shit. We actually. went to high school together. Because you just did a triathlon recently, right? You, and this did is your the research. bike from? It's a new bike. Okay. It's an expensive bike, way too much. How much was that? I got it secondhand. Initially, it was, I think, $10,000. Just, I'm a busy guy, so I keep a schedule, you know? <laughs> Gotta have the schedule. Tomorrow we have a, um... This is our podcast studio. Oh, this is the podcast studio. Yeah. Super cool. See the name on the wall, Jeff FM. I thought of that myself. You go check out the bathroom. Nobody's gonna I, pop I, out I, at you. Uh, you got a the kid that works in the bathroom. Yeah, you got a kid stuck in the bathroom. I got, this is supposed to be a guest room. What are all these awards that I see in here? There's yeah, no, I just have that one award for getting my head smashed in with a crane. So this is my YouTube plaque. This is what you get when you hit a million subscribers. Like this is one of the goals that I set out to do when I started YouTube. But after a while, YouTube kept demonetized and age restricted my videos, banning them from people. So I got upset and this is how I voiced my frustration. I made a video, kind of like a beheading video, where I fucking took my plaque and I took a chainsaw to it and I just grinded it down the middle. Did and they... guess what? <laughs> they still demonetized all my videos. So this is another set. Bedrooms. Oh, this is like the famous barbershop. This is one of them. We shoot in a couple different locations, but this we put here just to have a shop at home because we shoot here a lot. The podcast studio is downstairs. Yeah. Do you want to give me a chance? We could do that, yeah. yeah. Do you actually want to? Sure. Do you think of my hair right now? It's terrible. Problem you look like a controversial YouTuber. You're gonna get canceled, bro. This type of Purse. haircut, controversial piece of shit YouTuber, you know? Um, I'm not saying one specific. There's multiple ones that have this haircut, but especially one. Uh, green screen. Where, where are we right now? We're in Paris. Wow, first time for me. I've never been to Paris. How romantic. This is my sauna that I put in here. When I put this in here, I had an idea for a show. Everybody does podcast. Why don't we do a podcast where it's so difficult? Like you're in a sauna. You, you know, you're dying from the heat and it's oh. called the Hellcast. So it's like the opposite of Kevin Hart's show, Cold as Balls. That came out after. And by the oh. way, those ice cubes are fake. That's the last guy that came over to film a TikTok. This guy right here? My most proudest content idea has to be the barbershop because that was everything. That's my bread and butter. You know, I started out cutting hair when I was 14. When I got into social media, I was selling weed, cutting hair. I was meeting a lot of people. You know, I was moving around. I lived in Miami. I lived in New York. I lived here in LA. I had all these relationships with these people and I met a lot of people that were creating content and making money from it. 
And I was like, how much money are you making from this? That's fucking insane. So this is where you live? This is where I live. Yeah, this is my bedroom. It's stiff. Is that good? Yeah, no, that's good. It's good for your back. Right? So how many girls do you think have been in here? <sighs> Tons. <laughs> this is where I practice. Yeah, I come in here. You're gonna slow-mo this and speed it up like MTV Cribs? Yeah. No, nobody comes up here ever. Why is that ladder there? Is that the spy in your neighbors? No. I, that's your neighbor's balcony. In there. No, that's just, it's just leaning on that. I'm like stressing out over all these ideas on like what to do. And then all this time was right under my nose. I was literally cutting celebrities' hair and interviewing them and fucking with them and like making them uncomfortable, but just for myself to get a laugh. Keep this next to my bed. This is a plate that was in a couple plates that were in my face. And we got them removed, so. Oh, so your face is good now? Well, there's nothing in there now? There's a couple things, but as we get them removed, I feel like I'm, I'm making progress, I'm healing, and I keep that next to my bed to remind myself that, you know, you've come a long way. Right. So get out there, enjoy your life. Probably the hardest, most emotional time in your life. Is, oh yeah. Is that true? Yeah, big time. Damn, yeah. I had to figure a lot of things out. Spent a lot of time in the closet, right, Jeff? I did, yeah. Oh, you Majority have this, of my life. suitcases is cool. I like that. I don't really wear these. I kind of wear, I keep the ones down here that are more active, that are getting used more. But I am a big <clears throat> sneaker head. I grew up working in a barber shop, so sneakers are a big part of that culture. Yes, this is a master bathroom. Barbara from Shark Tank told me that she takes two baths a day, no showers. That's ridiculous. What are the top three items in your home you can't live without? It's the odor. <laughs> oh, you know what? Where did I put it? Garmin watch, that's oh, yeah. something I like. Yeah, I like going out for runs and logging my runs. These running shoes, you know, I got a lot of running shoes that I like. Those are the, the zooms? See these bad boys, the spikes? What's that even for, trash? For sprinting. How much faster do you get from this? I don't know, I never even used them. <laughs> I've never put those on once. One of my most prized possessions. Oh, how to smuggle stuff. Yeah, mm. needles and rocks. I learned the most from this book. What's like what, the biggest takeaway from the, the trauma you've gone through recently? Probably that you could die at any moment, you know? You could die when you least expect it, so just take risks, keep living, and I feel most alive when I'm uncomfortable doing something tough. Speaking of something tough, do you have your cell phone on you right now? I should have watched his videos. Deep dive into someone's FYP page on their TikTok account. <laughs> okay. What the FYP page is showing Jeff Wittick. <laughs> oh, here we wow. go. That is a beefy boy doing a flip. Wow, that is amazing. Can you even do that? No. That's insane. Dude, we have to watch that again. <laughs> I'm gonna give that one a like. Double tap. This guy that played Elvis and it seems like he's stuck in that character almost. Like he's, he, yeah. you know, it's kind of like a Heath Ledger Joker type of thing that's going on with him. All right. Is this you? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is that you? No, this isn't me. I don't even know who this is. Bro, this guy's stealing your stick. I know. Ever since I started this thing, like everyone steals it now. Well, look at this. I'm going to hit him with a fucking not interested so his shit goes under. Oh, nice. Boxing. Boxing. Jake Paul. Can you go to your like videos? Can we look at five of your like videos? <laughs> it's just going to be gross. Let's check it. Let's check it. Okay, here we go. Here's my like videos. I think this goes into like a fan edit of Tony Soprano. The soldiers. Soldiers don't go down. <laughs> It's war. Soldiers. It's war. So that's why he's okay with killing people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're soldiers, it's yeah. war. Yeah, it's war. I feel like this is exactly how you feel about life. Like, <laughs> Bro, this is why I don't want to do this part. This is exactly... Look, and then it goes into like a fan edit of Tony yeah. Soprano. <laughs> it's so stupid. We got Wim Hof and Joe Rogan talking about Wim Hof. Yeah. You know, it doesn't get any more fucking like... Masculine. Than that. Yeah. that I'm okay with showing. You know, the cold is your friend. Have you, you ever know? tried the Wim Hof breathing? I did it on a live stream. I I, so I do live streams on my Patreon, and I made everybody do it at home with me, just really? like a nut job. And I can't, you know, I, like you have a chat, but I don't know what people are doing. So I'm like, all right, everybody, yeah. thirty breaths. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm like, did you guys like it? And they're like, no, that was weird. So Logan Paul wants to say, Jesus and God isn't real. How about I install a microchip into your head so you get more educated, you brain dead steroid. Abusing motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take the biggest shit out of my asshole right now. <laughs> you, you didn't see this one? That didn't pop up on your for you page? I did not see that one. Thank Thanks you. for the tour. Guys, click the subscribe button for more. Go follow Jeff, buy some of his products, listen to his podcast. He's a pretty funny dude. I learned a lot about myself today. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for doing this.